So the story of the Samaritan woman continues today and Jesus is interrupted in his conversation with her by the disciples and they suddenly, they're so surprised about the fact that he's talking with a woman, which culturally you wouldn't do. And th then she goes off to her village. And what I love about this story is Jesus has this one conversation and you see that he's totally energised by it. So yesterday, do you remember that he, it says he sits down by the well because he's tired from his journey. And today when the disciples come back with lunch, they, he doesn't even want any lunch. And he says, I don't even need it. And they, they're confused by that. Did someone bring him food? I didn't give him any food. Have you given him some food? And he says, my food is to do the work of the one who sent me. And that phrase is something that just gives us such an insight into Jesus and the way that he operated. He drew his energy, he drew his strength and his sustenance from doing the will of God. And the more that we find ourselves aligned into God's will, drawn into friendship with him, living in relationship with him, the more that actually being obedient becomes something that we find strength in and we find sustenance from. We, we can often think of it as, oh my word, this takes so much of my willpower, so much of my energy to be obedient. But the more, the more that we follow it and the more that we're near to him, obedience becomes a place where we actually find strength and wholeness and meaning and purpose and life. And this woman is transformed. She goes back to the village. She says, come and meet the guy that's told me everything I've ever done. And of course, they all go out because they all want to know everything she has ever done. They're very interested to discover what she has been up to. And then they encounter Jesus for themselves and they are transformed. And one of the things that you see energizes Jesus is to see lives transformed and to see lives change. I love being in a, in a worship meeting where people become Christians because the moment that that happens, the atmosphere changes, the faith rises. Everyone loves seeing people come into the kingdom and come to know God. And Jesus at this point says to his disciples, look around you, see that the harvest you know, is plentiful, that, that there are, there are, the fruit is there for the taking. Um, for us, we will draw energy more and more in our walk with God when we start to see some of the fruits of his kingdom come in. How do we do that? We recognise that there are people who are around us who are ready and ripe. Sometimes we don't always have the eyes to see like the disciples didn't. So we can ask God, show me God, who are the people today who, who are ripe, who are ready, who, who others have already been working on and praying for. How can I go and join in with that? And the more that we, we start to see those things happen for ourselves, the more we hear the stories of others in our church who are also seeing fruit, the more we will find actually we have energy for the journey and energy to become Christians. And although we may still need to eat a little bit of food, we will find that doing the will of God who sends us is something that gives us strength.